Hey guys, so I'm gonna be reacting to the God, what, the eighth episode of Once Upon a Time, and just from the thumbnail, I think it's gonna, I guess, reference Alice in Wonderland, which I'm kind of interested in. So, I think at least that well part of the episode I'll be interested in. The you know, going back to to store whatever whatever it's called. I don't even know what the like the fairy tale land is called. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's just get right on into it. In here? Oh, here's lunch. <laughs> How's your lunch? I'll give them to Mayor Mills. Seems like she was the closest thing to the family. Very good at manipulating, huh? Oh, well, look. People in my life. <laughs> I think we should stop Cobra stuff for a while. You don't play with a curse. It's not happened to Graham. Oh, now you're you're concerned. That's not for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's been two weeks. Motion is automatic. Unless the mayor appoints someone else within the time period which I'm doing. Well, of course. You don't understand what war is like. What they do to you. Better hide, quick. What's your name? I'm Balfire and I'm 13. When's your birthday? In two days. Josh, time. Boy. Kid's not very smart, is he? Did you teach? And he returned home to a wife who could not bear the sight of him. I hardly think he's in a better. Taking children to fight your war. Kiss my boot. You just humiliate him. I don't have any money to pay you. Why? <laughs> Why well, yeah, am I not surprised that this kind of creepy old dude is this actor? You know, you always get these like, they always get these, um, certain actors get cast in certain roles so often, and the, the guy who plays that old man always plays a creepy dude. <laughs> And 50 bucks at this, you know, enthralling the Dark One requires a sacrifice and it ultimately is to son. You found that loophole in the town charter. Legal documents, contracts, if you like. Always been a fascination of mine. <sighs> Why is she exactly she surprised that he's fucking with her? Seeing as how, you know, he fucks with everyone. You two can talk about jail time and juvie records. And maybe even your new association with Mr. Gold. <laughs> really? You really want to talk about the association with Mr. Gold? <laughs> Must say it's convenient that, you know, <laughs> there was a fire extinguisher right there. Enough. Regina. I'm fine. Nice shot of the victim. <laughs> <laughs> How did you really rescue Regina? She did. The fireman said it. Oh my god. You are a hero. So, so did uh, Mr. Gold stage this whole thing knowing that Emma would save Regina. And of course, Gina's probably going to accuse her of setting it up so that she could play the hero. Congratulations. Sheriff Swan. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't too happy to say that. So that was Once Upon a Time. So... You know, it was about, you know, pretty much why Rumpelstiltskin became what he became and she has, uh, whatever, her face, oh god. Emma, she has to, uh, fight to become sheriff, you know, of course. Uh, I was kind of confused because, like, the thumbnail, it looked like, <laughs> it looked like, you know, there was, the thumbnail is literally just like a rabbit. It looks like, you know, one of the rabbits from... Alice in Wonderland, but I didn't see any of those throughout the entire movie, so I don't, I don't know, sure, I don't know what was going on with that, but, eh, it was, you know, it was another episode, continue to see Mr. Gold being shady as shit, Emma, and Maria, uh, Regina is kind of still infuriating, I mean, <laughs> Have much to say. Um, so if you like this video, give a like, subscribe to get notifications for uh, more of my videos. And uh, that being said, you guys have a nice night. Stay safe out there, and talk to you later.